look at the sailing. Oh, you'll get half a lobby. I'm sailing loaf. Hello, little sweet boy. Oh, Lord. Let's pull his hair down. Okay. Hey, guys. So, happy weekend before Thanksgiving. We are actually starting our Thanksgiving um, like festivities, I guess, tomorrow. We are going to my parents' house tomorrow for my immediate family. And then literally every other day, like for the rest of the week, we have something for Thanksgiving. So I've got my immediate family tomorrow. We've got Tuesday, I have my work lunch. Thursday, Sam and I are doing Thanksgiving, just he and I this year. We decided to like ditch all other Thanksgiving plans. Friday is Friendsgiving. And then potentially Saturday, I think is his extended family's Thanksgiving. I'm not quite sure. Um, so we've got the bed stripped. Where you at, little man? Got him going. Cleaned in the house deep today so that it can just be like spot cleaned for the rest of the week. I wanted to show you guys. We're about to actually go to the store and get all of our stuff for um, this week's like grocery slash Thanksgiving meals. So our list isn't super crazy. I'm making a charcuterie, charcuterie board. I don't know how to say that word. This is my first time making one of those. But like this is everything that I'm in charge of. So like we have a lot that we are doing this week. And I actually have really good recipes. I will go ahead and screenshot this one. This is the Campbell's green bean casserole. It's so good. I follow this one every year. Um, and then I have to finish writing out the best ever mac and cheese recipe for you. But yeah, lots to do today. Been working all morning at the table. <laughs> Got my spread. So I'm going to go get quickly ready. I don't think I'm filming any videos today. Um, do you think we'll have time to film a video today, baby? A vlog or like a channel video? Like a channel, like your gift guide. Um, we probably need to set aside time and just do it. Yeah, we'll set aside time tonight and do it. Because we don't need daylight for that uh, because it's, you know. Okay, sorry, I'm all over the place. I can like, this is just how I feel today. Um, all over the place because I've never, like I think, in my entire life, I've been responsible for green bean casserole twice at Thanksgiving. Um, and every time after that, it has been like, you know, someone else is making the full meal. So like, this is our full first, like true Friendsgiving. So like one of us is, uh, one of the guys in the group is making a turkey and then Sam and I are making like the appetizer and then two sides. So it's a lot. Wanted to make sure I did not forget to show you guys. So I've had some really exciting partnerships this past month. I have partnered with Fabletics. I am partnering with Movement. I do have to take those pictures today. I showed that stuff to you guys in the last vlog. Um, but I also partnered with Just Fab. So I actually had a Just Fab membership years ago, like for probably three or four years, like when it first came out and I loved it. The only reason I don't do it now is because I'm married and if I had shoes show up at my house every month, my husband would die. Because here's the thing, I already shop a lot. If I had that many shoes, he would notice because he does notice things like that, he would flip out. He'd be like, you have too much cold. He wouldn't be wrong. So yeah, he just, he notices, like he's the one man on the earth who would notice like with my shoes, like he'll walk in the closet and be like, you have more shoes. Why? Why do you do this to me? So that's kind of why I canceled it. <laughs> but they sent me two pairs of shoes. You guys hold, just get ready. These are so cute. So they do have a little bit high heel, like of a high heel. I want to say that's like four and a half inches probably, but like how gorgeous are these oh my gosh and they're stupid comfortable like i remember my just fab shoes are always the most comfy shoes ever i still have some of them in my closet um if i can remember i'll tell you guys which ones they are these are let's see i got them in my true size which is a nine and a half that's the name right there that the T. They do come in a few different colors, I believe, but I did get my true size in these. 
Oh, these are so out of the box for anything I usually would wear, but they're so fun. These are from the Jesse James Decker collection. And they had them in a few different colors. I went back and forth between the white, black, or gold for a while. And I finally settled on the white. And I was like, these would be so cute year-round. Like, I could wear them now. I could wear them in summertime. Wear them to concerts. Wear them, you know, things like that. They are, that's the name right there. They're the Vivi, which is her daughter. Vivi White Croc in my true size. And again, they are so comfortable. Like, how cute. So, we've had some really exciting collaborations lately. I feel so blessed that these companies are like recognizing me and my brand and thinking like, wow, yeah, she could represent us. It's so cool because like I used to own the, the Just Fab subscription for years and now I'm partnering with them. So it's just really cool. But yeah, I got to go get ready. Um, like I said, not going to get super ready. I don't think we're going to film a like formal sit down video today. I don't know. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. That one? Oh my God. Yeah. Hey. All right. I'm a little anxious about that. Come well, on. It's not going anywhere. Are you sure the suction cups are going to work? Yeah. I mean, if it doesn't, it's going to fall in my lap and I'll catch it. Oh. It ain't like it's going far. So you guys are up on a new tripod. Let me let me show you guys this contraption we've got in our car. Does it say? Because the camera is supposed to be a smart camera, so like it it detects the camera's upside down, but we're filming like that, so it's correcting. Be I was gonna I was gonna ask you about that if it would correct itself or if we would have to rotate I the footage. I think it should, but I mean I know how to rotate the footage if we have to. Sam's gonna try. Will you hold the grocery list, baby? Sam's gonna try and learn. Uh, it's shaky. Ooh, that's really shaky. He's gonna try and learn um, editing today. What do you think of these car vlogs? It's a little bit better. I don't know. I, we'll leave it right there. I think it looks fine. I think if anything, it's the, the like detached thing. I think this might be rotating a little bit, but I think the camera's fine. Okay, I guess we'll know when we see. So I think I told you guys we're going to. Um, Lidell. I'm driving because he is watching the game. Um, but we're going to Lidl, Lidl like Beetle, to get groceries, and then what we can't get, Lidl will go to Bilo and get. But I told him this morning, I was like, if we go to Bilo. We are going to be spending like 200 bucks on groceries. I bet we spend under 100 at Lidl. It'll probably be way less than that. Hopefully. You, you got the list, I'm guessing. Yeah, here. we're not getting anything crazy. We're just I completely lost everything that I was going to say. I don't know. So we're at Lidl. I hate. Anybody else hate this time of year? Like being out in public? There are people everywhere! Or just me, me, me. I, I, I. My time's most important. Dang right. I saw it on there. It's crazy in here today. Just as I had said, in the like right before we got out of the car. People are all about themselves this time of year, let me tell you. So we were in Lidl, it was crazy. And we were in line, there was a lady in front of us and then there had already formed like two, three other people behind us. And this guy comes up who, I'm assuming by the way they looked, were brother and sister, I'm telling the story of this lady because I'm still just like so annoyed by it. Um, and they were like having this whole conversation back and forth and so then his wife comes up and tries to just like, get in front of me in the line with her full buggy of stuff and usually i would be the type i'd be like no 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 come on but we had a buggy full of stuff and the like three people behind us all had been waiting in line for like ever she was so mad that her husband told her to like go by go in the back of the line like she was fussing at him oh i hate going out this time of year Mm -hmm. I hate okay. it. She literally was just like, oh, I, you know, I know her. I can just cut in front of you. Like, no, mm -mm, not how that works. So now we got to finish up our grocery shopping at Bilo. But people are rude this time of year. I hate it. 
All right, so we are home from Lidl. Um, I told you guys about that lady who I'm still a little bit peeved about. And usually things like that don't make me mad for a long period of time, but I don't know. Just a little peeved about it. So I wanted to show you guys what we got. Um, we already have, so let me flip you guys around. So we've already got these. These are the best. The French's crispy fried onions. I have found that getting the generic does taste different. So get the French's crispy fried onions. I have these up here set aside. I'm going to have to set some stuff aside for um, like dinner so that Sam doesn't mess with it. These are my favorite chips. They are gluten free. You can get them from Lidl. So I'm going to snack on these. Gluten free. I'm snack on these while we put groceries up. So my mom handed me some stuff when I went down to her house and this is all from Brandless. So she gave me gluten free all purpose flour, gluten free blueberry mix, the pizza crust mix, and then she also gave me this banana bread mix, which is all from Brandless. Then this, cause Sam likes to make chocolate milk. So this is kind of the stuff that I got to make the charcuterie board. I wanted to do a more simple one, one that didn't have like everything that's super fancy. So we got pretzels, dill, like baby kosher dill pickles. I got some fruits. We did um, grapes, raspberries, and blueberries pistachios we did get this for our i'm making homemade mac and cheese for thanksgiving and then we got some goat cheese and then also like they had meat Lidl is the best place for the stuff like this like all this stuff wasn't crazy expensive then we got a bunch of gluten-free pasta because this is like uh, honestly my favorite pasta already like we already had been eating this and so i have to make the macaroni and cheese so i'm gonna go ahead and use those so I can actually eat it too. And then we got green beans. I like to use canned green beans in my green bean casserole because I don't notice a difference and they're just easier. We did get crackers for the charcuterie board, classic crackers. And then I did get these. I'm making brownies for my work um, party on Tuesday. And then we did get these for the house. So those are good, but they're very expensive. Um, chicken broth, a little bit of sour cream for Sam and I. We also got olives to add to our spread. Potatoes. This stuff's from Milo. And I think that's it. So this is kind of the bulk of what I'm really excited about, but Sam cannot eat this until Friday. Capiche? Capiche. Those chips are, these chips are the best. So good. Okay.